3D Life Prints are a medical 3D printing company, but we do much more than medical 3D printing. We are there to provide a service to the medical industry, and specifically to the NHS. We think of ourselves as a gateway for the industry to bring in low-cost anatomical models as our first product into a place where they've not been brought before. In July 2015, we were invited by Ian Hennessy of uh, Alder Hay Hospital to be a founding member of the Innovation Hub at the Alder Hay Hospital in Liverpool. And since then, we've had a full-time 3D uh, technician and three 3D printers embedded in the NHS in the Alder Hay Hospital. The partnership with 3D Life Prints has been, in my opinion, um, exactly what Innovation Hub's all about. It literally is to take a new emerging technology and to play with it and to find out what's useful what isn't. I found it very useful for some particular uh, conditions, one of which is a very complex fracture of the ankle. I'm currently uh, undertaking a research project to look at the configuration of the fracture. We have seen in the last eight years 52 of these injuries. We've assimilated new knowledge on that by using only one model, so it, it, it's got the potential to really help us. And I teach um, basic anatomy and physiology for the respiratory system. The general difficulty we have in that is doing so is that we've got generally 2D models or 2D images um, and doesn't show the full detail or the full depth of what we need. And um, so having a 3D printed model kind of gets rid of some of those. You know, we've got all this technology out there, but we're kind of slow to use it. Um, and I can see aspects of this being used trust wide. 3D printing is a new industry and the medical industry is notoriously difficult and slow at uptake of new technology. And so we feel if we sit between the doctors and the technicians, then we can be a, a gateway to provide those services for the doctors. And that's what we've aimed to do, is to bring those technologies and that line of product from the wider market into the medical sector. The idea behind making Alder Hay one of the best children's hospitals in the world is to have the best technology. And to do that, you need to attract that to the hospital. There's two different ways that the doctor would need to explain the uh, procedure to the patient. One, before the operation itself. Secondly, it's after the operation. They explain what they've done and how it went. And it's very useful for the, for the patient who won't be clinically trained to see the region of interest, to understand what it is that's wrong with them, and to understand what it is the doctor either will or has done.